Greetings fellow literature enthusiasts. We're back once again to navigate the intricate labyrinth of ageless masterpieces that have significantly shaped our understanding of literature. Today, we're trained exclusively on a novel that has made an enduring impact on American literature, the classic Sister Carrie by renowned author Theodore Dreiser. Dreiser, a distinguished entity in the literary realm during the late 19th and early 20th century, has left an impressive legacy with his exceptional narrative style and depth of thematic exploration. His contributions were pivotal to the evolution of American naturalism. Sister Carrie, the object of our study today, is widely recognized as a pioneering instance of naturalism in American literature. Now, to those new to this term, naturalism in literature is a movement that emphasizes on portraying life and society with a high degree of realistic detail, often to illustrate the daily challenges and conditions of people in urban societies. In Sister Carrie, Dreiser brings to life the stark realities of urban life through the prism of naturalism. He doesn't hold back from showing the harsh realities, struggles and tribulations of life in a bustling metropolis. Set against the backdrop of two major urban settings, Chicago and New York, the novel personifies these cities as dynamic characters that reflect the complexities and often harsh realities of urban existence. Still, the novel isn't merely an exploration of urban life. It intricately weaves a complex tapestry of human emotions, aspirations, desires, and our inherent quest for validation and achievement. Dreiser skillfully traverses through these themes using his characters, predominantly through the protagonist Carrie. Carrie, a young woman from a small town who relocates to the big city in pursuit of a better life, serves as the ideal medium for Dreiser to delve into the seductive pool of ambition and the pitfalls of desire. Dreiser dives deep into her psyche, her dreams, and the subsequent repercussions of her pursuits. Her narrative is one of metamorphosis, of the corrosive effect of wealth and success, and ultimately, a profound analysis of the human condition. The themes of ambition, desire, and the corrupting power of wealth and success are illuminated in Carrie's journey. As she steps into the glittering world of the city, her ambition is ignited, pushing her to strive for a life of luxury and status. This relentless ambition becomes a driving force in her life, steering her towards decisions that often come with dire consequences. Desire, another central theme in the novel, manifests in Carrie's longing for material possessions, social recognition, and emotional satisfaction. This desire propels her deeper into the entrapping world of wealth. The corrupting influence of wealth and success is perhaps the most significant theme in Sister Carrie. As Carrie ascends the social ladder, she finds that wealth and success are double-edged swords. While they provide her comfort and status, they also corrupt her innocence and moral values, showcasing the detrimental effects of unchecked ambition and desire. Sister Carrie by Theodore Dreiser is a trailblazing work, celebrated not only for its narrative and thematic profundity, but also for its pioneering role in American naturalism. It set the stage for future authors to delve into the complexities of urban life, the human psyche, and the dynamics of a continually evolving society. As we traverse through this literary journey today, our objective is not just to understand the plot and characters in Sister Carrie, but to also appreciate and delve deeper into the themes it tackles, ambition, desire, and the corrupting influence of wealth and success. So, let's dive right into the enchanting world of Sister Carrie by Theodore Dreiser and unravel the intricacies of this literary masterpiece. The narrative primarily focuses on unfolding the transformation of Carrie Meeber, a young woman who courageously leaves her mundane life in the rural Wisconsin countryside in pursuit of a more rewarding and exciting life in Chicago. She steps into this bustling cosmopolitan city brimming with endless possibilities and a promise of a future that greatly deviates from her past simplistic setting. Upon her arrival in Chicago, she crosses paths with Drouet, a charismatic and persuasive traveling salesman. Drouet is instantly smitten by Carrie's naive innocence and offers to provide for her. The young young and easily influenced Carrie falls into Drouet's loving trap and readily becomes his companion. She is introduced to a world of indulgence, filled with luxurious and the stimulating thrill of city life. Yet, her relationship with Drouet becomes monotonous, and she finds herself yearning for something more, which she eventually finds in Hurstwood. Hurstwood, a wealthy but unhappily married saloon manager, is hopelessly enamored by Carrie. His intense admiration for her propels him to lure her into eloping with him to New York City, a move that sees him orchestrate a theft at his workplace. New York, unlike Chicago Chicago, does not treat them well. 
Hurstwood, failing to secure a profitable position, gradually squanders his wealth and social stature, sinking into a pit of solitude and gloom. Meanwhile, Carrie, fueled by ambition and an insatiable desire for more, chooses to embark on a journey into the world of acting. Success greets Carrie quickly as she ascends to stardom, and she becomes a revered actress. Her fame skyrockets and she finds herself moving into a lavish apartment that constantly buzzes with adoration and attention from her multitude of fans. However, as her star ascends, Hurstwoods descends. His life spirals into homelessness and despair, culminating tragically in a dingy flophouse, where he dies alone and forgotten. The tale underlines Carrie's evolution from an innocent small-town girl to a confident, self-reliant woman navigating her way through the labyrinth of city life. Her journey is punctuated by a spectrum of interesting characters that enriches the societal portrait and provides various ethical dimensions. The story sharply contrasts Carrie's climb up the ladder of success with Hurstwood's tragic descent, demonstrating that their destinies are predominantly guided by their circumstances and fortuitous events events, rather than their choices or deeds. The novel also challenges conventional notions of success and contentment, implying that wealth and fame are not necessarily the ultimate keys to happiness and life purpose. In spite of amassing fame and fortune, discontentment still gnaws at Carrie. She's always seeking something more fulfilling, something that her and popularity cannot satiate. Even amidst all her success, she does not find true love or her genuine self, remaining a shallow character throughout the narrative. Carrie's journey from a naive girl to a confident woman in the complicated world of city life is beautifully encapsulated. The novel delves deeper into human psychology and societal norms, uncovering that success, happiness and fulfillment are elusive and perpetually evolving concepts. Carrie, in spite of her swift rise to fame and wealth, is forever unsatisfied, always longing for more. The irony of her life lies in her constant search for love and authenticity, despite remaining a passive and superficial character throughout the story. Sister Carrie, a stirring and thought-provoking piece of literature, unveils the grim realities that lurk beneath the glossy surface of the American dream and the contemporary urban society. Authored by Theodore Dreiser and making its first public appearance in the year 1900, the book is a chilling and uncomfortable unearthing of the truths hidden behind the gleaming illusion of the celebrated land of opportunity. In this day's exploration, we delve deeper into the labyrinth of this literary masterpiece that led to a seismic shift in the domain of American literature. Laden with profound themes and complex character webs, this novel has managed to leave its indelible mark on the chronicles of literary history with its brutally honest and unwavering portrayal of the darker facets of human nature and societal constructs. Sister Carrie takes a deep dive into the concept of the American dream, the oft-repeated myth that guarantees prosperity and success to anyone willing to put in the effort. It presents a biting critique of this elusive dream, dream, stripping it bare and exposing its lies and the inevitable disillusionment that follows. The novel brings forth a sobering realization that success in the capitalist society of America extends beyond hard work. It involves elements of luck, chance, and even exploitation. Our heroine Carrie chases this evasive dream, only to find herself ensnared in the merciless machinery of urban society. Theodore Dreiser paints a distressing picture of modern urban society where individuals are relegated to mere chess pieces in the grand game of capitalism. He unabashedly exposes the superficiality and the rampant materialism that are the hallmarks of such a society. The author vividly depicts the unhealthy obsession with wealth and status, showing how it can often lead to moral decay, and how the vulnerable are systematically abused in the name of progress. In the face of such bleak circumstances, Dreiser sketches a complex and true-to-life image of Carrie, a young woman doggedly trying to find her footing and carve her identity in this relentless and competitive world. Carrie's journey from a small-town girl to a successful actress is as far from a typical rags-to-riches story. It is a saga of struggle, ambition, and survival. Her character defies the stereotypes of the era, exemplifying independence and resilience. The depiction of Carrie's character and her uphill battles mirrors the author's personal experiences and keen observations. Dreiser, an astute observer of human nature and societal dynamics, imparts authenticity to her character, ensuring that readers connect deeply with her journey, her aspirations, and her eventual disillusionments. Sister Carrie stands out as a tour de force of naturalism, a literary movement devoted to illustrating life in its true colors, without any attempts to sugarcoat or romanticize reality. 
Dreiser's vivid and painstakingly detailed descriptions, his raw realism, and his unwavering investigation of societal norms and standards make the novel a groundbreaking work in American literature. To add to this, Dreiser's employment of free indirect discourse, a narrative technique that lets the reader delve into the character's mind, imparts depth to the story, making it an engrossing read. His command over language and his nuanced understanding of human psychology further enhance the narrative, securing its place as a timeless classic. To conclude, Sister Carrie serves as a potent reminder of the bitter truths that hide beneath the shimmering exterior of the American dream. It stands as a testament to Dreiser's literary skill and his deep understanding of society and human nature. Even more than a century after its publication, the novel continues to strike a chord with its immortal relevance and enduring charm. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into literary exploration. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth literary content. Until our next literary adventure, happy reading.